Hello, my name is Octavia, I'm from Germany, and um, this video is about a visitor approaching. News broke uh, two days ago, 19th of June 2021, that we may have a visitor coming, that is Trans-Neptunian, and um, it's such big news that I thought I might at least give a starting video, just a short glimpse of overview of what we know so far. The name of this object is 2014 UN271 so far. I guess there will be nicknames coming, but this is in case you are looking for it on the internet. <clears throat> a little bit to the structure of the video. Um, I rely on scientific data. Um, about what or who is coming, from where, what that could mean. Um, but I then also go into the subject of Nibiru because this may need mean um, the main topic. This may be the uh, main issue in discussion uh, in the videos that will um, be coming in the next 10 years until it's there. I um, did a short... Um, copy of the announcement that caught my eye. It was on the 19th of June um, to me in the morning of the 20th. Um, it caught my eye 11 uh, astronomical units and uh, I just started to read search um, and from then on I was in the subject. So Jason Wright was retweeting T. Marshall Eubanks um, that we may get a dwarf planet into our solar system. 11 astronomical units means really into it. This here is um, JPL. It's um, a site by NASA. Um, um, it gives out into information on small body database. So it collects the information on small objects, and it is classified as trans-Neptunian object. Neowise was a comet. This is a trans-Neptunian object. It is having um, an, uh, um, a diameter around 100 kilometer. Neowise was uh, approximately five kilometer. This is having a diameter of 100 plus. So um, they are about to measure it. They are collecting data. And so everything will be um, checked, double checked, and there will be a lot of articles coming. So please um, be aware that I'm trying to give you the first overview. But this is not the end of the issue because there will be a lot more data coming. This is a real sensation going on. The discovery was done by Minor Planet Center. They are also doing uh, some of the um, information release, and this is uh, their, uh, their website where you can get access to the data, also on GP uh, JPL. Uh, the visitation will take place in January 2031 in the orbit between Saturn and Uranus. The object will come almost in a right angle. It will be 95.5 degrees. There is a discussion how to name this object, whether it's a centaur, an asteroid, a dwarf planet, maybe even a brown dwarf. Brown dwarf is a planet that was on its way to the sun or to become a sun, but the fusion somehow stopped and there may be still some fusion going on, but maybe not enough to make it a real star, a bright star. So all of this is not available so far, um, or to be precise, there is a lot of discussion taking place. You can see here the first object uh, was in database from 2014, therefore it has its name. Um, and to get this data out, they took um, the database or the data from um, four years. Um, so the last data input was 2018, so we know there will be a lot of data incoming and therefore a lot of um, information that's not available yet, but yet to come. 
Um, you can see here the period. It's this, uh, the, the tweet from Marshall Eubanks. The period is named with 389,000 plus years. So it is an object that is a rare visitor here. And I um, did a screenshot of this. So you can see here um, that people asking whether it is a centaur. Um, then a little, also that astronomers say, we don't know yet. I don't know yet. So you can see there is a lot of information going on and a lot of discussion going on. So don't expect um, everything to be set and settled. Just check some of the real interesting Twitter accounts. It may be really good to be informed in the coming weeks and months about uh, the data coming up and the discussion that is taking place. Now a bit of Niburo. Um, I took this information from Zahaya Zitchin's website. Um, so to name him as a source, he would translate it. The Enuma Elis. Um, the Enuma Elis is a Sumerian Akkadian text, and one passage of it is called Niburu. And this text is completely there. It is not fragmented, but it is hard to translate. So Harry Zitchin um, says in his books um, that he uh, combined various translations and put them next to each other and also the original text and try to get the best and closed fitting translation. Nevertheless, the way he interpreted it is, is um, well, scientists are not fond of that, just to, let, just to, to name it that way. According to the text Niburu's period time is approximately 3,600 years. So it is not fitting because so far, the period is about 400,000 years plus, what they calculated so far. Niburu could be a brown dwarf. Whether this is a brown dwarf or whether this is a dwarf planet, we do not know. We do not have real database, uh, database or cl classification set. This could be or could not be fitting. Niburu is scheduled to come and have or happen in a few hundred years. Happen, therefore, because it is not clear, it is just called Marduk star. It is not clear whether it is an astronomical myth about a constellation, about a fixed star in a constellation, about a cluster, about a stellium, which means that a rare planetary event is happening, that all few thousand years, a certain angular, that Venus, Jupiter are in an angle, towards, for instance, Sirius, and they point to a certain direction or they form a certain geo, uh, geonomical form. This is unclear. This is, it's not really clear. Zahari um, uh, Zitchin's interpretation was it is a planet or a star in itself that is traveling through the cosmos. Um, but I thought I write happen because it, it's not clear what it is so far. Nevertheless, if it is a planet, then it is about to happen in a few hundred years. Not now. Except the orbit may have been altered by, for instance, bouncing off somewhere. The text claim also, if Nibiru is close to the sun or close to another planet of our solar system, there is no problem or damage. Only if Nibiru is on an orbit close to Earth, there will be problems. This is at least that uh, main theme that is discussed on this website. As the orbit is set to take place in Saturn Uranus, um, there may not be problems or damage, even if it would be Niburu. But there's a lot more to come. So this is the first overview, including the Arcadian esoteric view on Niburu. The summary from scientific view. The announcement was done on 19th of June. The object was classified and uh, it was found in 2014 and given a name. 
The research da data include 2014 to uh, 2018. The discussion is open. And links to interesting Twitter accounts, see please the info box. I also put into the info box the um, link to the website of Zahari Zichin. Um, and therefore, you may like to consider also doing research. I will do a lot more research on this now. Um, so I will read my way into um, the Enumas Elis and the various translations and will come back with other videos on it. I just wanted to give you a short summary or a short overview of it. The period of this orbit is not fitting. The size may be fitting, but the time is not fitting. And even if it would be, then the placement within the solar system would be that there may be no gravitational problems towards Earth. So, so far from me, this is the face to the voice that you've listened to. Take good care of you. Bye.